money, it's time to go hard, go hard, go hard, go hard. Time to be serious, I want it all, I want it all, I want it. What's going on? This is your boy, Paley Invasion, yo, yo. and this is another episode of Space Pod TV. The number one premier location to get your fucking podcast interview in in Fargo, North Dakota. Yes, sir. I'm here with XA. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you already know what's going on, man. It's your boy XA. Get rich, get paid. TMV, trust nobody. That's the motto. Let's get it. Oh, shit. Yes, sir. Your boy turned up, man. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? I'm always lit. Hell yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, bro. Let's, uh, Let's give him a little introduction. Uh, let them know about yourself, how long you've been in the game for, you know, stuff like that. All right, so I've been in the game for like five, six months, you feel me? Yeah. I would say I'm the youngest rapper in Fargo Was like who makes good music, you know? Like, right. I don't know anybody. Ask a shout-out TJ, you feel me? TJ, be, his tracks be fire, but you feel me? I'm I'm only 16, and I'm making these fire tracks, for me? I'm not, like, I, I wasn't born here. I'm a foreign, you feel me? I came okay. from Nepal. Oh, me? oh, okay. I got friends from Nepal too. You do? That's yeah, you know up. the dude who owns uh the Namaste Grocery. Yeah, that's my boy, man. Oh shit! Hell yeah! Oh, that's, that's some Hell that, yeah, that's man! Some Small place. world, man. Shout out that that's guy, lit. man. He that's dope. Lit. That's lit right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you feel me? We came down here, and then when we first came here, like you feel me? Like we didn't have a lot of money because right. we just moved down here. So right. We stayed at those um. You know, you know where Spider Park is? Yeah, I know Spider Park. You know those yeah. apartments right behind Spider Park? Yeah, the yeah. The red ones. Mm -hmm. We stayed there for like a few years, and then we moved into um this townhouse. Okay. For me, like you know, by Hornbarkers, right behind Hornbarkers. Yeah. Those yeah. townhouses right there. That's why that that's how I learned how to play basketball. Okay. My homie cool. Aiden taught me how to play basketball. Yeah, yeah. For me, and then after that, we moved into these other apartments. You okay. For me, um, you know, by Kmart. Yeah. Right behind Kmart, Hell those yeah. white those white apartments, like right there. You go, you take a left. You take a ride from Kmart and you'll find it right there. Okay, I cool. stayed there, and after that, if you man, I went to school. Yo, school was crazy for me, bro. Yeah. Yo, yo, this, yo, this school, yo, this yeah. school, yo. School. Tell them about the school experience, yo, I, I'm man. I'm telling you, bro. Yo, yeah, I, yeah. I'm telling you, bro. So look, six, middle school was crazy for me, bro. Okay. Middle school, so sixth grade was chilling. You feel me? No, like for me, I was just cool in sixth grade. Seventh grade, I got more friends, but those yeah, friends yeah. feel me like. Smoke weed, all that yeah, shit, yeah, you know. You, and you. then eighth grade, I got a girlfriend, right? Okay. I sort of got this, this, this girl, bro. Yeah. This girl really like fucked up my mentality. I'm telling you. So look, so I got this girl, and then for me, we started chilling. We started smoking weed and all okay. that. Yeah. So this girl wanted to buy weed, right? Right. In, in school, I'm telling you, in school. Oh fuck. So this, <laughs> so this girl named I'm not gonna say her name. Let's just say C. Let's call her by okay, C. Okay. Right? Cool. Cool. But so this girl named C was the dealer, right, in the school. Right. So I bought I bought some weed from her. Yeah. You feel me? She gave it to me. Yeah. She gave it to me in this bottle, right? It was like this medicine bottle. Inside right. it was it filled up in a plastic bag. So she stuffed it in my locker. Okay. Yo, I don't know how, bro. Th at this one time, bro, I don't know how I'm telling you, bro. Like this, at this exact same time, they decided to call the dogs. The, oh the police no! Dogs. Not Yo, the dogs. Cra <laughs> crazy police Man. dogs, bro. So like, who was in the who was in the rooms? They they didn't let me out. Yeah. Cause, you feel me? They obviously like. Me growing up in school, bro, I dressed like, feel me, dressed like this, dressed like that, you feel me? Yeah, I, didn't, yeah, you, yeah. I was just like that, like, like they didn't let me go after school, you feel me? The school was, right. like, against me some, mm -hmm. for some reason. I don't even know why, but they let my homie Isaiah out, though. Okay. So Isaiah I was like, yo, bro, I need you to do me a solid, bro. I need you to go to my locker, open my locker, grab me that shit and give it to me, you feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. All right, cool, I got you. So from that moment, bro, I always have respect for my homie Isaiah, bro. Like, All right, that's what's respect up. Respect for bro, that's for life, up. bro. I got him. Whatever he, need, whatever you need, bro. I got you. Just hit my line, bro. Yo, man, it's all about making <clears throat> them solid connections, man. You know, those are priceless, bro. Exactly, bro. So look, so he grabbed me the, he grabbed me the bottle, right? Yeah. He brought it to me in class. It was science class, eighth okay. period, seventh period, science class. He gave me that shit, feel me? So I couldn't put it in my locker. I mean, right. I, I couldn't put it in my pocket. Because mm -hmm. that shit was like, what the, like, you just going to see a big-ass bottle there. Yeah, yeah. Feel me? I couldn't do that. I couldn't put it in my pockets, nothing. So what I did was, I put that shit, I put that shit in my motherfucking <laughs> Oh, shit. I put that shit in my motherfucking oh, boxes, shit. you feel me? Yeah, Like, okay. bro, they didn't do it. They didn't, like, they, like, cause they're, they're not going to search my fucking boxers, you feel yeah, me? They're right. not going to search that shit. So, like, the time went by, the, um, the, feel me? So the period went by, it was next period. Yeah. Eighth period, last period of the day. Okay. Went into gym. 
I didn't change that day because I didn't want to fucking have the whole locker room right, smell. Right, right, right. So, like, while I was walking there, I would check my, like, for me, I, I wouldn't go back all the way to check, but like, I would just, I'd check like that to see if they're following me. Right, well, yeah. fucking, the teacher's following me, the principal following me. I'm like, yo, what do you want, bro? Like, you want to check me? Go ahead, man. They're not yeah. going to put my, they're not going to put their hands on my boxers. Yeah, right. Me, like, right, right, right. You got to think with that shit. Yeah. So, like, I went into the, so, I went into, um, what's it called? I went into gym. I didn't change. I just put on my shit, and I just stayed on the bleachers that day for the gym. Okay. I went out. Got in my bus and boom, that was that. I didn't get caught. Okay. And that shit, yo. Let me tell you about fifth grade though. All right, fifth grade. All right, let's fifth hear grade, it. Fifth grade, bro. So I, I used to play um, you know the game Assassin's Creed. You know Assassin's Creed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I used to play Bo- Brotherhood, right? And you know okay. how that dude like go sh- with like knife and shit. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. the knife out. So look, I used to think I was that dude, bro. Like, <laughs> I used to think I was fucking Assassin's what? Creed. So like I was walking to school. Yeah. And I uh, I I look to my right and I see a motherfucking knife there. Yeah. I see a knife, so I put it in here. Shit, I was like. Sh- I went into the bus. I went into the bus, right? right? It was in the morning. I was like, yo, look at me. Look what I got. I was doing that shit. Look, I'm Assassin's Creed. I was <laughs> in the back of the bus, right? Yeah. I was young as fuck. I was dumb. Whatever, bro. Yeah, so, like, I was in the back of the bus, and, like, apparently some girls, these girls, bro, these girls snitched on me. Oh, me this niche, okay. Like not in the not not nobody in the back because they was cool. Mm-hmm. You already know, like in the back of the bus, everybody's cool in the back. Right, right. It's right, like right. the front and the middle that'd be really tripping. Yeah. You know? right. So you feel me? Like the girls in the middle of the bus saw that shit. They told the fucking principal. They took me. They found the knife and all that bullshit. And they right. just, they suspended me for five days. Damn. And guess what I did when I was suspended? What's up? Played Assassin's Creed. Oh <laughs> shit, man! Hardcore gamer over here, man. Let's go. Awesome you know shit. what I'm saying? Awesome shit. Hell I'm yeah, bro. Hey, man, if you dedicated to that ninja lifestyle, you know. I was. Saying? You feel me? Not anymore. <laughs> well, I don't even play that shit no more. Right. I feel you. I don't even playing games like that. I'm always locked in the studio, bro. Always hey, doing that's my the thing. way to do it, man. Yeah. I mean, like, I even talked to my boy Breeze over here, man. He's like, if you really want to get something done, man, you gotta. That's got to be your main priority, man. Yeah. You got to cut everything, everything else off, out. Bro. Everything. Yeah, exactly. So, like, even if you got homies that are trying to chill, but they ain't really doing nothing, and right? I'm, you know? No. Nah, hey, man, you want to come cars. cruise around and talk about why our lives suck? Hell no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to go in the studio and fucking, you know, Yo, said, make my life no. better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, nah, bro. Yeah. That's what I, mean. I be stalling my calls nowadays, bro. Yeah. They want, like, they see me popping and say, Yo, you want to hang out? You want to hang out? Uh, I don't know, bro. I'll probably meet you in like two hours. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, now, if they were like, Hey, you want to hang out in the studio and make a game plan, I'd be then, like, Let's for fucking show. go. You know? Get in here, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like that. But if, like, if. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. If they're on some other shit, bro, like, they just want to do some other shit, just smoke weed and all that right, shit, right. like not do anything. Mm. I'm straight. But if you want to come in the studio, make this shit happen. Yeah. Then come on in. That's the way to do it, man. Cause like, it's 2019. Let's let's start by that. It's 2019, and I'm just gonna say we just upgraded to a new fucking building. I don't oh, know this if shit you can clean. tell. You know what I'm saying? This we shit just clean. We just set up like hours ago, and this we already did our first interview in the new building, man. This shit is motherfucking legendary. Yeah, right? legendary bro. interview, bro. We appreciate that, man. And we were already turning up before the fucking interview started, man. Yeah. He was freestyling, and I was dancing. Hey, yo, yo, my ex, exec- like shout out to my man. yeah, my executive producer in the back right there, man. He was busting some flows, you know. You know, shout out to my team. I love y'all. Let's share behind the camera, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we just getting camera, started, bro. bro. Let me just, we just getting started. Like, y'all think this is, like, the best we can do? No. We're just getting Hell. started. If you guys walk in the Hell front no. door of that shit, y'all be surprised how professional that yeah. shit actually looks. And we got shit. Yeah. There ain't be no chairs no more. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's some next level shit. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to get a couch right there, you know, get the better ambiance going. And, man, we got a legend in the back, man. Shout out that poster, Mac Miller, right there, man. Rest in peace to Mac. R.I.P. Mac, man. He was a beautiful soul. He still is. Spirits live forever. So, you know he what I'm saying? He inspired so many, like, artists, So many bro. people, man. Like, so many honestly. people. Like, Sam, Sam goes for X. You know, X is Yeah, like shout a, out X, too. Yo, he, he was He had a big inspiration too. on me, bro. Yeah. Like, Hell, yeah. We talked about in that episode. We did an X tribute at uh, JCI. That was lit. Yeah, That bro, was lit. Everybody went crazy, man. They always go crazy for X music, man. Yeah, I got a... <laughs> you know, rest in peace to X, bro. Straight up. Yeah. So if you ever end up doing an X tribute, man, expect the Yo, crowd to fucking. I'm telling you, every single show out. I do, there's gonna be X tribute, bro. There it is, man. Every there single, it is. Every single show. Hell yeah, pay your homage, man. That's what's exactly. up, man. 
that's how you get respect, man. Like, yes, sir. You, this ain't just a game where it's just one person against the whole world, man. It's us together. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. it's a collaboration. Yeah, I was just telling, like, I was just telling, like, this Fargo artists, like, I yeah. was hitting them up, like, one by one. Like, I was right. like, yo, so look, instead of taking this shit as competition, instead yeah. of going at each other, we got to come together. Right. Pause. We got to come together, and yeah. then, you feel me, like, just do this shit, and, like, just come up together. You feel me? I was like, yo, yeah. in the summer, like, grind as many tracks as you want in the winter, but in the summer, we're going in all. You feel me? We're yep. going in on this shit in the summer. Yep. That's and the only way to do me, it, like, man. And if you if, if you still want to take this shit as competition, you feel me? Oh, I'm better than him. I'm better than you. Can do that shit, but like, feel me? Me like, I'm I'm gonna be on that like coming up type shit. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. When you're on the come up, like, you know, the, that's the only thing you're thinking about is your future, me? man. That's what I'm so. saying. Like, like we gotta like, bro. I'm telling you, like mm -hmm. we gotta. I'm telling you too, bro. We gotta do this shit like not competitive, like not competitively. Right. Feel me? And like come in, the pause. As like and just do this shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about the summertime, right? Yeah. Talking about the summertime. Oh shit. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay. We, we, we ain't gonna speak on that shit. We, we got, we, man. We, <laughs> man, we got so many brilliant ideas. We can't just share them all right away. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. Yo, anyways, but, you know. new mixtape dropping March 6th. Whoa. You already know bow, bow, what bow, it bow. is. We got to switch the topic like that. New mixtape dropping go. March 6th. It's called Ounce of Drip, Fire Ass Track. You feel me? There's a track called Velo on My Body. There's a track called Time Goes By. There's a track. Yo, just go to my Instagram for the track list, man. At Xasian Not Rich. That's X-A-S-I-G-E-N-N-O-Y-R-I-C-H. Dang. Get that shit. From all, you know what I'm saying? You're yeah. Right. And that time goes by joint is fire as fuck. Oh, you heard that? Yeah. yeah that that's shit. the one me and her were bumping in my, we were bumping that shit. And yeah. I was like, bro, this is a catchy ass fucking. It's a classic, bro. That shit clean, you know? bro. So, hey, if you need visuals for that shit, hit up your boy, man. Oh. We, got, we got the team, man. Our team is so strong. We can do anything for you, man. You know for what I'm sure. saying? That's so, what I need, too, yeah. bro. I need, I need to, like, I need to find people like you guys. Feel me? Like, yeah, for sure. We got a strong ass team. And who's in this shit and who's all about this shit. You yeah, know, all yeah. about coming up and all that. Right, right. Huh? This is life. It's a lifestyle now, yeah, man. Ain't lifestyle. no turning back. Once you reach this kind of level, man, you can't just turn back. There's no, it's a point of no return, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even with you, man. I know you just started, bro, but you dropping bangers like that right away, that's the point of no return. Yeah. So, like, True. if you just stop all of a sudden, like, that's not even that's natural, I'm not man. Gonna, bro, that's you know? <laughs> I, so. I, I started making music when I was in, like, in seventh grade. Okay. I did, like, little diss tracks with my cousins. Right. <laughs> I was like, I was doing, like, you know you know how rice gum? they like those little diss tracks. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. I was doing that type of shit. Okay. I was like, that, but then I was fucking trash, bro. <laughs> so oh, I was fucking really? trash at that shit. Like, everyone hated you yeah. mean eighth grade, everybody hated sixth grade, everybody hated. Yeah. Freshman year, boom, I'm up. Everybody back on my dick. Like, yo, yeah, what's I good? What's good? You. you was hating on me last year, bro. Hop on my dick. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, man, good. that's just how it is, man. Once you once you actually making a move, man, you know what I'm saying? Once you're making those mountains move by yourself, man, it's powerful. Yeah, that's you true, know? bro. So, and once that happens, man, you got to expect people, there's a lot of fake people that are going to pop up yeah. and they're going to really try to convince you that you need them in your life. But, you know what I'm saying? Breeze you know, is like, I know it. about that shit, we you know? know? Hell yeah. Say less, right? Shit. But, you know, you got to keep moving forward, man. Like, once you silence the haters, you're unstoppable. That's true. You know? That's what I'm like. People, if someone got a problem with me promoting myself, I just block them and move on. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not even worth it explaining yeah. myself at this point. You know, yeah. So it's like, it's like, why are you sending me that shit? I don't like rap music. Block. <laughs> you block. Know? <laughs> you know. Block. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like next. You know. And then like, bro, if you do it like that, you got, man, shameless promo gets you so far. I know you shouldn't be spamming people, right? Yeah, you shouldn't be spamming music. people. But at the same time, like, you're about to make a post. All right, like this post, you want to be tagged in it. Yeah. Bro, you can get so many tags, man. That's one of the easiest ways to, like, blow up a post on Facebook before you're about to or post tags, it. tags. You just make a status. You're like, like this, like this status if you want to be tagged in my next drop. So many people like that shit. Just because it's like a, uh, what do you call it, the psychological effect yeah. when you say the word like or share. Mm -hmm. That yeah, actually sorry, triggers something in their subconscious well, mind. Like if you say free. Right, yeah, that shit. I right. Know, I know about that shit. And that's a marketing tactic. You know, all the big fucking businesses use that the free shit, and you know, yeah. it's just a marketing tactic. It is. But it's powerful. You know what I'm saying? It's it very is. powerful. Keywords, man. That's why I only use keywords on my uh, podcast titles now. Yeah. You know, 
if it's just like, oh, this guy talks about life going to the gym. No, it has to be an actual, you know, it has to be like the YMCA or yeah. like, you know, keywords, you know, because then people are searching that shit. Or well, like clickbait. Type yeah, shit. <laughs> I mean, I try not to make it clickbait. You know, there's some people that make really heavy clickbait, you know what I'm saying? But I don't try to do that, man. Yeah. I'm just trying to be as real as I can be and also connect people at the same time. That's all. That's the ultimate goal here at SpacePod TV. We just want to bring the Fargo music community as close together as possible. You know what I'm saying? Yep, that's the movement. And like, bro, the close, like, the more powerful minds you connect into one mind, that's called the mastermind. I don't know if you heard about that, but like, um, there's some like people back in the '50s. They made books on you know, um, how to uh, amplify your uh, abilities to you know make your reality happen and one of the most powerful keys was creating a mastermind mastermind you know getting like-minded individual individuals together and the more of them you get together that creates the mastermind and that man is so powerful well you can come in man <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying man <laughs> anybody who want to be a part of the space pod movement you are more than welcome you know what i'm saying we do not discriminate here at space pod tv it's all love and that's all it's ever going to be. So let's fucking get it. Yes, sir. Yeah. So hell yeah, bro. Um, Yeah, I heard you. You were like busting a freestyle when I was out oh, in the bathroom. Yeah, and I we, walked we, we in. Shit, we was just doing some shit for yeah, fun. Like, not okay. even seriously, you know? Okay. Like some, like some other okay. shit. Some chill shit. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying, if you want to bust something right now. Oh, shit. You got you know, a beat? I mean, we can either throw a beat or you can do an acapella. Acapella? You know what I'm saying? Maybe do an acapella to one of your verses that oh, you yeah. got. You know what I'm saying? Put one up those yeah, things. man. Do what you got to do, bro. Take your time. <clears throat> yeah. All right. This one's called, like, this is an unreleased track. You okay. Feel me? Like, I, I'm pre- I, like, I added in the in the press kit. I'm pretty sure you heard it. But oh, it, yeah, it yeah. Okay. like this. Yeah. Uh. I'm getting money and that's what you jealous. Don't worry about how I got it. No, I got it. I'm just in gold. Check that out the checklist. I'm making moves. I can't even imagine. Mm. I'm in order that button and faking. Just know that I keep it real. The devil will shine and bring me down. But I told God to go take the will. I'm getting money and that's what you jealous. Don't worry about how I got it. No, I got it. I'm just in gold. Check that out the checklist. I'm making moves. I can't even imagine. Mm. I'm in order that button and faking. Just know that I keep it real. The devil will shine and bring me down. But I told God to go take the will. Now I'm up. You can't bring yeah. me down, nah, nah. My heart is hella cold, like the ice that's in my cup. I give no fucks. That is on my mom, mama. I can't fuck with bitches that will switch you for a buck. I got no trust. Left me out to rust. I can't do no features with you. You suck. I don't pop no zans, man. That shit got me stuck. Always on the move, so that shit is out of luck, out of luck. Yeah, always in my zone. Can't pick up my phone, hey, jacking on my style. Hey, y'all always my goal. Hey, you know that I'm making it, yeah, making it to the top. Hey, Why you faking it? You faking, you should stop. I'm getting money, and that's what you just don't worry about how I got it. No, I got it. I'm just in gold. Check that out the checklist. I'm making moves like I can't even imagine. Mm. I'm in order the button and faking. Just know that I keep it real. The devil will shine and bring me down, but I told God to go take the wheel. Skirt. Woo! Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, that was lit. You know what I'm saying? I'm 16. Yeah, this no, dude I'm only 1600. 16. I'm 1600. 1600. 1600. Because <laughs> 1600. you can never really tell your age because people will take right. that shit like, oh, he's only 16. He doesn't, he, like, you feel me? Like, he's not yeah. even smart. He doesn't have that much right. knowledge. But to be honest, bro, I'm 16 and I have a n- lot of knowledge in here, bro. Yeah. Straight it's up. all about the experience, man. Like, you could be 30 years old, but if you ain't done shit in your life, man, you ain't done shit, you ain't gone anywhere, you ain't experienced nothing, man. You're just as good as a young kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's all about your experience and your your spiritual maturity. You know that's what I'm saying? That's true. That's true. What you've yeah. experienced, what you've gone through, what you've learned, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you got to go through the bullshit to get to the good shit. I'm just saying. Yes, sir. You know? That's, and that's just true. how it is. That's, that's how we ascend into a higher dimension of being, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, it happens. And that's the best way to live your life, man. Learning lessons and growing from it. Yeah, especially if you do your research, bro. Like, yeah. I be just like, I be, I be in my bed. I can't even, I can't even sleep that much. I don't know why, but I yeah. be just chilling. Like, I, I be going on my phone. You feel me? Right. I search up like, like I be on, like I'm, I be bored as fuck. I be like, is Tupac really dead? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I be on that shit and like just looking at like, like, bro. I heard, I saw a YouTube video. It was like, yeah. it, like government, bro. I heard mm-hmm. there was like. 
it was like putting chips in people. Like you know these famous yeah. rappers, like yeah. these intelligent people. Right. Like they be putting chips. Like they be cloning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't know if it's true, but I just heard. You know. What Man, I'm, saying? I'm telling you, the truth is stranger than fiction. I'm just gonna say that right now. Yeah. So, so like th th they was doing this. So like so let's say like this dude. Let's, let's take Albert Einstein, for instance, right. right? So Albert Einstein is smart as hell, right? Yeah. So what they would do is they would make him a clone, mm -hmm. and, they would, and th they, would, they would keep the real Albert Einstein, yeah. and they would keep him, and they would kill the clone. Oh, damn. Make it look like he's dead, and they would trap Albert Einstein in, like, underground type shit right. and use him for his knowledge. I see damn. that in the movie, too. It was like... Yeah, man, like, we're walking batteries, man. I'm telling you, we got so much energy within us. That's why I said when you create the mastermind, you're unstoppable. Yes, sir. Because the more mind power you got, the more you're a threat to the establishments that want to take control of everything. Yeah. And that's why music is so beautiful, man. Stay music, woke. That's what I'm saying. Music is the most powerful driving force in the universe because the universe itself means one verse. It's a fucking song. Oh! You know what I'm saying? Shit. I said that in the first episode with I my boy back that. there. You know oh, what I'm saying? That shit, that shit cool. That shit yeah. Dope. So if you got the gift of musical talent, bro, I'm telling you, man, don't waste that shit. Try to make a difference with it because it's so powerful. If you got talent, yeah. don't let that talent go to waste. Like, I know right. this dude. His name is Ferg, right? I know okay. this dude. Like, feel me? Like, we would be smoking in the car and shit. Yeah. And he would bust out. Like, he would play a beat. Yeah. Freestyle King. This dude is okay. freestyle, like the best freestyler I know in Fargo, bro. Okay. Like he'd be like on some like, and I can't believe it was a freestyle because he'd be talking about the realest shit. Yeah. And it's a freestyle, you feel me? That's hard to like, talk about I'm real shit while you're freestyling, you, bro, man. Like this dude is like king <laughs> of free, like I gotta put him on. Let's get him on, man. Anyway. Hit him up, you know what I'm saying? Tag him in this video when it drops, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I got and you. Like, and he does, he has know. no like he has a song called Jay's on my feet. Okay. But that was just like like I was just like feel me, I got him like so it, it was at his house. Feel yeah. me? He had the microphone, but he didn't really have like a dude who has a computer and does the right. mixing shit. But me, for me, I do everything. I be mixing. Ma oh, by the way, I mix, master, engineer all my tracks. You Woo! know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah. yeah. that's and the best way to do it. I'll man. be on that shit. Feel me? So I got the I got the computer and I, I and I went to his house. And then, like, for me, I plugged that shit in, and he was just, he was just making some music, and that's the, like, it was like, uh, I see you got some J's on your feet. Uh, what you rocking? One, two, those other three. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it wasn't like, yeah. like, it wasn't like that. Like, that shit was crazy, but we got to get more tracks on that. Like, okay. Like, I got to get, I got to put this dude on for real. Like, okay. like I was saying, I ain't with yeah. that competition bullshit. Right. You know? Like, I want everybody to come up. Yeah, man. Whole. It's a new year, man. This is time for change, man. Yes, sir. If we ain't growing... We ain't doing shit. If we ain't you know? growing, we ain't growing. <laughs> yeah, we, if we ain't growing, we ain't doing nothing, man. We, we just grow. staying idle and we just melting away, man, in the we big melting it, pot of life. Big goals, bro. You know? What's up? What's 2019? It's the year of the grind. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. Yo, 2019, bro, I got big, big, big plans on this Hell shit. Hell yeah. Like, That's bro, what's up. Big, big, big plans. Yup. Like, that shit, like, feel me, like... I just need connects, bro. Like I just like after I I'm trying to get a job, bro. Like okay. nobody wants to hire me, bro, cause my of my background. Like I got expelled from school and shit. Okay. So like nobody wants to hire me and that shit for me. So I I'm trying to get a job. Once I get a job and once I stack some money, yeah. Like two thousand, one thousand, I can I'm gonna invest all that shit into music. Yeah. For me and boom, take off. That's what's up. Blowing up just like a rock. Don't even sweat it about the school thing, man. I did not fucking pay any attention to school, man. Word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People might have think I graduated high school or went to college. I didn't do nothing. I got my GED, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but feel me. Since I'm Asian, bro. Since yeah. I'm Asian, my mom wants me to um. Feel me. My mom wants me to go to school, become a doctor, and all that. Okay. Shit. Okay. Nah, but that's not my lifestyle. You know, like I'm trying to yeah. make it in this music shit. Right. Follow your there's, passion. There's money to. There's money to be made out here, bro. There's a fucking yep. gold mine, bro. It is. I don't know how people don't see that shit. There's a fucking gold mine out here. This music yep. industry, especially hip hop, is like, yeah. bro, it's like a billion dollar company. Yep. Bro. And hip hop, we just getting started with the hip hop, man. You know, we bringing new waves that nobody's ever fucking felt yeah. before. You know what I'm but saying? Some, bro, so. like some old heads be tripping about that shit though. Cause like, no, I feel you. Music in the back, like in the yeah. past, like it was like Tupac, Biggie. Yeah. Feel me? When when Tupac and Biggie, um. Fucking beefed, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah, and, yeah. And Fifty Cent and what's the Fifty Cent and what's his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they beef, bro, like okay. that shit. Yeah, like, 
that shit was crazy and all that shit. And now, like, seeing this beef with, uh, with Captain Flo and what's the other dude? Oh. Uh, <laughs> seeing the beef with Captain Flo and... All right, uh, we can talk about it because by that time we'll have released <laughs> that episode, That shit beef man. is stupid. That beef yeah. is fucking stupid as hell. Cut that shit right now, bro. We don't got the time for the beef. What the fuck y'all doing over there with that beef and shit? Right. Tell fuck? them how there's you no, really feel. There's no shots being out. There's no boxing. There's no... It's just internet bullshit. Right. Go to the past. Go to Tupac. When Tupac and Biggie beef, like, people lost their lives over that shit, cuz. Yeah. Like, you guys got to cut with that beef. It ain't worth shit, it. Bro. We are, bro, like, we got to be grown-ups, bro. Like, be, you guys are fucking grown-ups. Feel me? Like, stop with that beef and shit. You got you to do like, 16 like, years old. He's telling little, you how to live your life, man. Like what are you trying to do, like, little kids doing right that shit. What the fuck? Stop yeah. with that beef, bro. That shit not worth it, dog. No. Nope. Like, you don't want to be killed. Like, if, nope. you, if and especially if the beef is not serious, yeah. you shouldn't be doing that shit at all, bro. Like, right. beef, like, beef, when I think of beef, I think of motherfucking people getting shot, beat, yeah. killed, going to jail. And right. when I say, when I see this kind of beef, like, some internet bullshit, like, what the fuck? Yeah. What? Like it's pointless. It's pointless, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, pointless. The farthest you should take it is, you know, a couple battle raps, whatever. No oh yeah, bat- yo, if you there know? was a battle rap, yeah, that, that shit would be lit. Right. For me, but I mean, if it's not real beef, then battle rap, that probably gonna be something. But if yeah. it was real beef, the battle rap fucking venue probably would have got shot up in the back. Of the yeah, right. 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 You're right. Yeah, but it is what it is, man. Just cut that, cut that beef shit. Fucking start, start being vegan. Fuck it, do whatever, bro. Stop with that, <laughs> yeah. that beef and shit. I feel you. Do what you gotta <laughs> do to raise your vibration. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially yeah. when you guys like, especially if the beef is just some over some internet bullshit. Just stop with that. Like, yeah. Just stop. Like, we, we got this money to be made, bro. Like, That's what I'm stop saying. with that. Wasting That's what I'm your saying. time on some beef and shit. Like, Cap and Flow and this other dude. I don't even know the other dude, bro. Just stop with the beef and please. We gotta get this money, bro. Stop wasting like, and you guys are old. You guys are an influence to these kids. I mean, you guys are influenced. Like, you're influenced these Preach. kids to go beef and all that shit. But I'm young. I don't get influenced. For me, I influence people. I don't get influenced. I mean, but, like, I'm just telling you, like, stop with that beef and shit, bro. Like, start, st- stop being grown up and shit, bro. Like, stop with that beef. Like, I feel you, like. If you got a problem with that, come at me, bro. Like, if you don't, then don't hit my line. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up. Cue the applause right I'm there, speaking man. Speaking my mind right here, bro. That was, like, some dope shit right there. Like, young pop kind of shit. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. Hell yeah, dude. That's what that's what needs to happen, man. Like, just imagine how powerful we'd be if we all worked together. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just imagine yeah. how amazing the world would be if we all just got over our bullshit and oh, came together. Be, exactly, bro. Like, it's exactly. all bullshit. It's all stupid internet shit. Different opinions, that's life, bro. That's the human condition. Just because we have different opinions don't mean we got to kill someone about it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, political, man, all that shit. It's all, all made to divide shit. us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This government, bro, this shit is stupid. They just want us to be fighting each other. Yeah. That's why when we when the hippie movements come out, they silence them right away. They don't yeah, like, like they don't like love. Like in the you back know? back in the days when 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 for me like in the when there was rapping like they wanted the, the they wanted black people to keep killing black people. Right. They kept on doing that shit. They kept on wanting like black people to steal from black people doing all that shit. Yeah. Feel me? Like that was the government, bro. Like they wanted to do that shit. Like, Straight up. Like what the fuck? Like that, that's dumb. It doesn't make any sense. It's all about control. You know what I'm saying? Though. That shit pissed me off, bro. Yeah. I feel you. You know on what that. I'm saying? Like why would like why would you want to do that? And like and they and they just love seeing fucking black people go to like fucking prison and all that shit. They right. love doing that shit, bro. But right. now, bro, like now, you, you know Nipsey Hustle. Yeah, okay. More yeah. fucking, bro, independent dude. He has right. a business, the Marathon. Feel me? He started all that shit from the jump, bro. Mm-hmm. He, he was in, uh, he was living in the hood, and then he started. He was like, bro, fuck that shit. I'm not gonna let them control me. I'm not gonna fucking feel me kill other people. I'm just gonna do my thing. Yeah. Feel me? He started making music, and then he, and then once his music started popping off. He started a business, bro. And I and I research these things, bro. I study mm-hmm. these things. You yeah. Know I mean? So when I'm up, I'm going to do exactly what. I'm going to follow his footsteps, bro. I'm going to do that shit, like make a business and all that. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's the way to do it. Yeah. What do you think expansion is? What do you think Four Pro Audio is? Your own thing. Independence. Yeah, of course. But I'm going to pay somebody else to do what I can do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like we got to go in the... Fuck this. La- Yo, labels are a scam, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Lab- labels are a scam, <laughs> oh, bro. Shit. I'm telling you, like, these, like, what they, what labels do is, like, they, 
they yeah. go reach out to independent artists yeah. and artists, popping artists. Nowadays, labels, they don't, like, labels, they don't hit up, like, underrated artists. Labels, they hit up people, artists who are already popping. You yeah, know what right. I'm saying? Right. So, like, they hit up them, they get their money, feel me? They sign, they say they sign a, a $5 million contract. Mm. The artist is thinking, like, I'm going to get $5 million. But right. what's really happening is you get the $5 million and your music has to pay that $5 million. Though. Bro, that's what I've been telling people <laughs> and nobody listens to me. Oh, my God. It, you don't actually get the $5 million. It's a loan. Yeah, you get bro. signed, it's a loan. If you don't get that shit, yeah. you're stupid. <laughs> right. I've heard of major label artists dropping albums and not making a fucking single penny because look, it was look all Look where Uzi's back. at right now. Look, yeah. look at Uzi's situation right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel yeah. you. So, you know, we're just telling you the truth over here at SpacePod TV, man. Yes, what can What else can we do? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to speak my mind, bro. Like, I'm Speak a, your mind, man. You, you, if you want to, you can cut out all that shit. If you, you can cut it out, but I, I don't really give a fuck, to be right. honest. I'm going to just speak right. my mind. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Whatever. I feel you on that, bro. Hey, man, this has been a very enlightening interview, and I'm very impressed by your rhetoric and you know, how you think and everything like that. Yes, so sir. shout out to you, man. You're going to go far. If you, if you keep moving forward, man, you're going to go very far. And, yeah. you know, we got you. So... I you bet. know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, bro. Hell yeah. That's a fact. You heard it first on Space Pod TV. Legendary right here. Legendary interview. Hey, and we out. Peace. Hey, go get my mixtape. March 6, ounce of drip. Gang, 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 gang. In the 701, do it for the humans. I'll be on the comma. Do it for the humans. And they're making numbers. Do it for the humans. So I'm taking over. Better make it older.